there. Let's welcome, clear. welcome to the old old school round table, man. We can M yeah. Milos and Chris both been mentioning your name for so long, man. I was like, we got to get in contact with Charles. Charles, oh, I hey, remember. Hey. Let me let me just say this from the get go because we never met, we never spoke before until today. Yeah. I just want to tell you that I remember you when I was just started training. I was just starting in back in '93, my first universe. I was getting ready for my first uni universe, and I admired your physique on the Olympia stage that year. In, oh, my, in, you, in, my, in my eyes, and I, I told Milos, in my eyes, that was one of the best physiques with the best condition, the combination of just everything. You still had oh, that long, man. curly hair, man. Yeah. That shit was all still popping. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so I'm a fan. I'm a fan. I'm not only a fan of bodybuilding. I'm a fan of certain yeah. physiques, and you were one of them in the early 90s. Oh, bless you. Thank you very much, brother. You're welcome. And, uh, you know, okay. I reciprocate that. You know? yeah. So, yeah. so what you been up to? What you been doing? Because I mean, uh, when was the last time you competed? Uh, ninety-seven. Yeah, ninety-seven. No, yeah, ninety-seven. And the thing is, I when I dropped out of bodybuilding, that was it for me because I thought, ah, I'm, I'm done with this. So, I didn't do anything for five years and this man abs this is why i wanted him you know just to uh, be on the introduction here because he was the one who literally dragged me back because you know you go through that all you guys know this right when you leave the phone stops ringing and you just <laughs> like come on man and, yeah and for sure body is sort of going through that it's rejigging itself because you're not doing what you were doing when you were training. And you know what I'm talking about. And so your, your whole mental state is in a different place. Mm -hmm. So I, I just, I was just drifting around. Um, didn't know what I was going to do. And I thought bodybuilding, I'm done with that. Abs comes on the scene and that's when things actually started He's, he got me back. He, he, he sort of put the spark back there. So, um, yeah, now now we're involved with two bros we, who's affiliated, obviously, to the IFBB. Oh, we did the two pro, two pro pros or something? Two pros, That's bros? It. That's it, yeah, yeah. Oh, so, you, so you're into a promoting contest now? Yeah, I mean, well, no, the, the promoter, uh, obviously, it, it, um, we don't actually hold the rights to it. But, um, you know, we, we help with it. Oh, okay. But we've also got the, the thermal plastic going on. So, oh, you know, so, you, so you uh, finally, uh, so you got your own show sorry. coming up in England. Yeah, we, we, this, we've done, we've had, this is the second year. Oh, how uh, come, how come we never heard of it? Oh, what? Sorry. How come we never heard of the, Ch uh, the Claremont Classic in, in England? It's the second year. It's a young show. Is it like, is it like a regional? Because we had COVID, both Abs and I. Yeah. We were done, man. We were just so bad with COVID. We couldn't even... <laughs> we weren't even there at the, at the get-go, right? Right. We were still in bed looking like people had dug us up, you know, <laughs> that bad. But, so is that yeah. like is that like a regional show? Uh yeah, I mean yeah, pretty much yeah. Um, and we'll see how it how it progresses from there. Right, right. Oh, that's well, awesome. Yeah. That's awesome. That's good, good to hear. That, man. Yeah. Well, good can I just ask, man. Dennis? The first time you seen Charles was ninety three Olympia. The you first time I paid. The first time he stood out to me as as as, ah. as a special physique. I've oh, okay. I've heard about him before in the magazines. But yeah. I really laid eyes. I mean, I remember the video too. It was the VHS. I remember like it was yesterday when he got on that stage. The perfect lighting, the perfect color, the perfect oil condition was. It looked like he was super peeled. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. thanks, but, man. I, but, I but, 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 yeah, just Sorry, go, go ahead. Because uh, he uh, Charles is too humble. Is he's not going to say this? But I was there from a day one. Uh -huh. So I turned pro ninety one. And I watch, of course, what's happening in uh, yeah, IBB and then in NABA. So Charles, uh, my, uh, the, the Charles Kleiman mm -hmm. was there competing, winning three pro shows in a row. Uh, I mean, 
competition is not, not stiff over there, but still, he had a uh, Eduardo Kavak, he had a uh, you know Samir Banu came in, you know all this stuff. But I love his physique, and I'm sure that the first time you lay a, a eye on on him, mm -hmm. you love physique. But you know, converting from IBB from Naba to IBB, there was that thing. Oh, they're gonna just Ben Demida was on on uh, as a pro chairman, and you know it was kind of feeling. Are they gonna give him a chance? In '92, when he came to the uh, IBB. They did not give him a chance. He was like dead last in a in a, in a oh really in a country. Yeah, oh, like, yeah, like uh, uh, dead last. I didn't even realize it was dead last. But uh, uh, somebody asked me, who was a pro bodybuilder that in British Grand Prix went from dead last to the first next year? I, was, uh, I, I didn't really remember that he was last. But oh. then oh shit, he was last. At so what show? He was last at what show? British Grand Prix. And then uh, he competed with me on European tour and placed nowhere also, you know. Uh, Charles and I were in 92 European tour uh, stage decoration. We were those fillers, <laughs> you decoration. know, somewhere at the end. <laughs> but <laughs> but let, let me remind you, because if you didn't see that, here comes 93. Here comes Flex Wheeler, Wonder from uh, US winning every show, right? Everything he entered. Iron Man, Iron Classic, all that stuff. So he goes to uh, Europe, and Charles Claremont beat both him and Kevin. Mm -hmm. Now, we're talking 93. And I was on that stage. I was top five also. Was that uh, San, San Jose? No, no, no. That was uh, British Grand Prix. British Grand Prix. Uh, that. Uh, so is that the Grand Prix after the Olympia? Yeah. That was, yeah, yeah. That was after the Olympia. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah. so what, 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 what did you did you say anything to him after that or no? Who? Charles. Oh, did, did you talk uh, to who? Flex that year? To Flex. Yeah. Did you talk to him? No. Oh, um. I. Here's the thing. Um. That when I first my debut with the IFBB, this is how, man. Wayne comes over. I get his phone. I'll go back a ways. When I get, I finished with NABA, I'd done what I'd set out to do. I got the universe titles and all that. Then I went, you know what? Here's the thing. I'm done with it. I'm going to find something else to do in life. Then what happened? The phone rings. Then it's Wayne D'Amelio on the phone. Mm -hmm. So I thought, how am I going to do this? So I said, I need a year. He goes, look, he gave me six weeks to get ready. <laughs> six weeks. 
So that's why when I walked out on the stage for my debut, everyone, I got announced and everyone was like, hey! The minute I walked out, it went from a, a, a rapturous applause to sort of like, yeah. <laughs> what's that? I mean, I tell you what, a kid could have come in from the street and beat me. Right? <laughs> I was that bad. And I'm standing next to guys that have just come from the Olympia. I'm like, what? <laughs> I was trying to hide behind guys on that stage, right? Milos, was it that bad? No, it's natural. <laughs> so, yeah, it was that bad. <laughs> hey, listen, because, because you see, I was a fan. I've seen yeah. his pictures. I've seen his videos posing from, uh, I mean, one of the best physiques ever. For me, uh, uh, growing, I've seen uh, Flex Wheeler and uh, Charles Kleiman. Those are two of my favorite yeah. physiques. Stand out. Really. They stand out right so, away. So as you know me, Lost, now I've got you here. Hmm? You are my favorites because Thank I you. love I love that look. I've Thank always you. loved that look. Thank you. Oh, but you, you were, except for the... you as well, right? Some love goes out to you, brother. Hey? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he, he came, he came <laughs> later. He came later, but you and I started in yeah, like 92, yeah, he, he, right? It's, it's, but, but this is what I want to, uh, for people in, in the United States to, to realize. We are speaking 1993, not, yeah. not like a, and, you know, Charles is beating uh, Kevin and Flex. At their best. At, at, at their best. And uh, now, as, as, as Chris asked, if... Uh, Charles talked to, to Flex. I was in top five, and I know uh, passing by. Flex already knew before the announcing that uh, he lost. And he, you know, go, but I can't believe, you know, I lost. Uh, yeah. It <laughs> 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 yeah. is like it is, <laughs> you know, it is, It is, and I'm a Flex's fan, right? But that day. Well, I am too. Yeah, yeah, of course. We, we all are. All right, so let me ask you this. Let me have, I have that question here. What Then what was it that held Charles back from breaking through all the way? That's right. So, uh, 93, Olympia changing the, the criteria. Dorian Yates arrival. That's, that's what changed it. I mean, look, we had a Kevin and Flex and Charles. You know, shit, those are the beauties. That's supposed to be a bodybuilding, right? Mm -hmm. I, I mean, uh, really... Even because I'm going back and forth with Bob Chicorillo about this judging and all this stuff. But we know back then, right? The first you show your physique, okay? Symmetry round, just physique. And here is what, uh, uh, you know, Charles and, and uh, myself or Flex or Kevin or you, you, Chris Cormier, right? This is where you get the points. You're not posing, you're just going around, quarter turns, that's it. Now you do what IBB tells you. These seven poses. There was not eight, seven mandatories. Okay, and third round. Now you show us what you want to show us. Show us what you got, right? So you have a three aspects. And at that time, I mean, I loved bodybuilding. Here's a, a Charles that, uh, as he said, politics. So you see, when even politics included, he's beating Flex and Kevin. Mm -hmm. Oh shit! This is gonna be good, right? But then he goes to that Olympia that you said. And you notice him at Olympia. Uh, I think he looked a little bit better, um, you know, previously also. Uh, in other champions, he looked tremendous. And that's another show that I want to talk to. But there's no bodybuilding fan that was that's going to see Charles Clement's physique and say, I don't like it. You know, that's one of those. Yeah, not like, possible. Not possible. Was this 93 possible. or 94? Milos? 93. 93. That's, uh, that's his breakthrough year. Breakthrough year. And then, you know, he had a good 94, 95. You know, the, the 97 is when, again, you know, went downhill. But as Dennis asked, why his physique didn't start to, you know, come to the top? Because changing the criteria and now we are, oh, once you have a Dorian as a, you know, representative of the sport. Yeah, but if you look past Dorian, two, three, four, five, six are still aesthetically pleasing guys. Uh, not, not certain, not Paulette, well, nah, well yeah. I'm, but I'm, I'm thinking now, 94, 95, 96. Okay, yeah. come on, Sean Ray, Flex Wheeler, Kevin LeBron. Mm -hmm. Why yeah. was Charles not included in that lineup? Yeah, I mean, listen, for me, uh, Charles, Chris, 
uh, Flex, Kevin, you know, those are the physiques that should be presented. Uh, and yourself. And yourself. I was, I was yeah. sixth. I was sixth yeah. place. You what? I was sixth place. What was your first Olympia, Chris? I've, I've got a, a brain fart. 90, okay, so 90, yeah. So even Chris was already in there. That's his first Olympia. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, I mean, you know, I mean, I, 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 that was the beginning Why of my bodybuilding. That was the Why beginning of my bodybuilding just... career. I was an amateur. I was just, I started lifting in 92. I competed the first time in 93. So that was in my beginning when you read the magazines. And there's right. no there's no social media like today where you can really follow someone and know everything. You can know what time he took a shit. You yeah. know, back then you have to wait till next month, to pay your fucking seven dollars back then to get three months, dude. To see pictures that are already took and they're, they're taken like three three to six six sometimes even a year before that. So that's all yeah. I, that's all I had to work with, you know, and the videos of the Olympia, of course. Yes, with, with um with with what happened along the way. A couple of things is I always had Wayne telling me, oh, don't get any bigger, don't get any bigger. Then you got the the testing. We, we got, we used to get a list back through of uh, banned substances. Right? <laughs> so yeah. it was like, no diuretics, no this, no that. I'm looking at this list and I'm going, oh man, this is like, what? By then, Pretty much, I'm looking and thinking, right, okay, this is just, I'm, I'm going to go in like a, a flat Stanley here, right? Because <laughs> you're literally cardioing to, to, to get yourself into shape, right? So your body's flat, and you're thinking, you're going in against guys that are, are coming in heavy like NASA, Chris was heavy, uh, thicker. Uh, there was a lot, but there were a few of us you could tell the guys that were going, oh, not using it, not using it, no. Because there was, I think, a $50,000 uh, fine. Is, it, if I, is, that, is that correct? I don't remember, actually. I don't yeah. remember. I don't, I, I, don't, I don't remember there being a fine. What I, remember, what I do remember is that Wayne called me, too, when I was in Germany, getting ready for my first night of champion. He told me, yeah, yeah. just make sure we, we, we test for diuretics. We talked about that last week, too, or yeah, two yeah. weeks ago. And they didn't. Chris, did you ever go to a show without diuretics? Yes. Which one? 97. 97 Olympia. Really? And I was, gonna, I was going to... At least take some women's pills, some water pills or some shit. Milo's had something for me at one point. And that I shit. forgot that shit. Hey. So I just walked out the door and Mi went to the Yeah, yeah. Milo's oh, had man. something for me. I get, I, I, let me tell you something. <laughs> I don't think, oh, I don't oh, think, oh, I, oh, I don't, oh, what's that? It's a list oh, of diuretics. Oh, oh, uh, Milo. There's a list of diuretics. Oh, 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 I, mean, I, I was being happy. I was being there. Here's a list <laughs> of diuretics. They were not on the list. Okay. Yeah, like, like, like Demodex. Like Demodex. Yeah, there was Teresamide. There was Exipamide. There was uh, Indapamide, Etosaline, Piratinide, uh, Aquamax. There was like, uh, you know, uh, I was second to Chris in 97... Uh, uh, NOC and Wayne calls me. Hey, too bad you you failed the test. I said no way. Oh yeah, yeah. And I said what did I fail on? So he's reading piratinid. Okay, now take your list and find me piratinid. Right. <laughs> but it's not here. But yeah, it's not here. It's not on the list. You know. So can I use? But it's not on the list. But that's the erratic. I say Wayne, just test me every year. I have like five more. I'm not going to tell you. You know, you're going to have to find it. But that was the last time I think <laughs> that the, he tried to uh, pull that in. Milos told me at one point, hey, you got to take these capsules like garlic. What was what was it, Milos? Oh yeah, star caps. Star caps, you know. And I thought this is natural stuff, and I took that shit. I pissed so much, I thought I was dying. <laughs> yeah. Hey, and I, what, what, I, I don't even know. A couple of months months ago, maybe I asked you for them star caps for somebody else. And what did you tell me? They, is they, it in your this because continued Bumex, because, <laughs> <laughs> this continued hey. because it was Bumex inside. Can you imagine? Yeah, this is. They sold that shit in Hollywood like it was like like it was a Grammy yeah. award. Yeah, they were they were giving it. Yeah, exactly. They were giving it all that Hollywood models and, and the movie stars and stuff. It's called garlic. Oh, it's garlic and papaya, natural diuretic. But you know, uh, 
take a little bit banana. <laughs> take it with a little bit extra potassium and chili. I mean, that thing was so strong. I mean, I had a strong. Then it's twelve in uh, two thousand seven Olympia. I mean, we we do a diuretics and then plus star star caps. Caps, garlic. So and you man, did. You know, so you did all the diuretics and topped it off with some bumex. <laughs> yeah, listen. <laughs> two two NFL players failed the test uh, for bumetanide. And they didn't take anything except that, and that's how they connected. Mm -hmm. So it's no longer available. <laughs> so Charles, Charles, since so so ninety seven was your last show. Do you still yeah. follow bodybuilding? Do you still know what's happening? Maybe not so much the amateurs, but pros or vice versa. No, because I, I, you know, I, I suppose I got just so sick of all the politics and the shit, and I just went, you know what? I, I think at that time, uh, me also no. There were we do, he, he, they were they were going to float Weeder, and and then obviously the media side was being taken over, and the whole thing was just in a transition. Mm -hmm. So I, I pretty much uh, I remember going to the '97 Olympia. And I was sharing a room with Mike Francois. And I just said, Mike, I'm done with this. This is my last gig. I'm, I'm out. Why, said, why, 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 were you, why were you sharing? Why were you sharing? Did they, why did they put you through? On one of the tours, we had to share a room. Hey, you know, hey, you know Wayne was cheap. Because, dude, hey, I was in a hey, room with... Hey, 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 listen, I, was a, I shared with Kevin that year. But not to the uh, Olympia. Olympia is Olympia, man. No, oh, it, fucking, this was on, but on tour, we were in some country and we had to share rooms yeah. with each other. Yeah, I was no, 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 not a room. I mean, a changing backstage. Oh, 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 oh. Are they talking about on a? Are they no, no, on no. The tour? I, I, I was sharing a, a, a changing the, room. The, Sorry, okay. I just should have been clearer. <laughs> but um, yeah, so we were changing backstage, and I just said, "Listen, I'm done with this." What was this? Ninety, ninety. What was that? Ninety-seven. 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 Yeah, because I, I mean, I was looking. In, there were was a few in, guys coming in, in. That was in Long Beach, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Milos, he, yeah. He, 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 he's the historian here. With this. yeah, but, but but put this in perspective. There was only thirteen guys. That's that's why I mentioned because yeah. how many we have now? Thirteen guys. Okay, but. Chris was eight, right? Oh, not too good out of thirteen. Ninth was Ronnie. Oh, not to, uh, I was 10, right? Then uh, uh, last three was Francois, you, and uh, Mike Petrazzo, right? Yeah. So yeah. when you look at like, oh, I placed nowhere. Well, shit, when it's uh, so close, right? Somebody has to do <laughs> this. And somebody, you know, it, it's really like that. Just, it's not like, Chris, oh. Chris, did you just hear that explanation? Well, when it's 13 guys and you place 11th, you're still 11th, basically, you know. That's no, not bad. It, it was the best of the best, though. It was, exactly. Like I, I understand, I understand. And no one, no one just, was shabby. No I'm just laughing because people. my first Olympia was also 13 guys, and that, I thought there's no way in hell that I'm not going to be in the top six or top 10. And I was, out of, I was 11th out of 13. I was like, fuck this shit. So, you know, it's still... It's still Hey, thanks to your coach. I don't know why. I don't know why. I don't know why I was. I always had it in my head of a, the moment I place out of the top ten. I'm. I'm like looking for. Oh, but get, Chris, everybody can have an off day. Come on now. No, I'm saying I was always in my head. Really? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but you are out of top ten and so not doing Here's the thing: I've never beaten you, so Chris. Right? Huh? So you know. You're ahead of next time you see Flex and Kevin, you can tell them he never beat me. So there's a bag. Hey. Okay, so hey, I, hey, I'm telling you, man, you you did a number on Flex though with that. He didn't. He did not like that loss because yeah, we I know, I know. We close to him at that time. He was not happy with that shit. I know, I know, I know. It's um, but you know, he he um, as I say, if it's any consolation to him, I love this physique. Yeah, right? he, 
We I talked to him on a plane. Know, we talked to him on a plane when he was flying. Back. So they, huh? When he was flying back from there, we talked to him on a plane, and he was just distraught and just like he was not happy. You man. think he was? It was worse than when he when you beat him at the Ironman. At the way? No, he. That was personal. No. <laughs> That was personal. So that that right there, um, you know how the UFC. You know, what, I was funny because you know the UFC guys when they jump over the the cage and they go and hug all their supporters. I did that. I know. That I was there. I watched you. Yeah, I jumped off the stage. I was like, yeah, <laughs> like half of the gym hated me. <coughs> that whole. Oh, that whole come up, Chris. How can they hate you? Eh? Oh, because it was a big He's thing. A nice me. guy. Yeah. yeah. Right. I know, right? <laughs> so, 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 Charles, so Charles, but I, I, I still, I still don't, don't I, I still have to ask you this one more time. So, you do not follow bodybuilding at all? What now? Now, yes. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I yeah, because obviously we we're back in in the you know. Okay, so now, so oh, now you bet. Well, but so, when I met, I didn't. I dropped out. And gotcha. here's the thing. This is why one day I, I said, who won the Olympia? And they said, Ronnie, my jaw hit the floor. Right? <laughs> I was, what? Ronnie. He said, and they said, have you seen him lately? Because I remember Ronnie, although he wasn't, he wasn't making any big inroads, he was a big guy. Yeah. He was a big man, right? And when I saw him, I, they said, look, here he is. I went, what? What's he been eating? He was huge. <laughs> I just could not. Was, I thought it, it's him again on top of what he 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 where I last was, seen. That was that was a like pretty good thing. Size. I thought this guy is what's he been doing? Yeah, you know, <laughs> inhaling helium or something. I don't know. It's just huge. He yeah, blew, but, uh, he blew up for sure. No. Charles, okay, so you were saying to Mike Francois backstage, no, not, yeah, backstage 97, oh, I'm done with this shit because well, you guys place out of top 10, right? So uh, 10 and 11th, right? What? Ronnie was ninth. He was that close, right? And, and I keep saying this because I, I beat Chris only maybe a couple of times. I have to put that in there. 97, Chris was eight, right? We go to first show in Europe, in Hungary. I beat Chris, okay? Next you week, I bet Chris, <laughs> yeah, but, but, but uh, that's just like a few days later. Then Chris goes to beat Nasser. Nasser, 97 Nasser, fucking after he should have defeat. Okay, so this is how it's close. And then Ronnie, by the end of the tour, he beats everyone. He beats Kevin, Chris. Okay, so here it is. Eighth place. Okay, also competing, right? It's not like strong. Hey, that's how close it was. That, that's what I'm saying. I was bummed that you didn't uh, want to compete after that. I, I know that you were like down. Oh, shit, if I didn't make a top 10, I don't deserve to be there. And Chris now confirmed it. I I only made a top 10 three times at Olympia. I competed seven times. <laughs> it's like I, I wasn't bothered. It's a fucking Olympia. Mm. You know? Yeah. Yeah. As long as I'm on stage. What's his name? Uh, uh, Sean Ray. Where did he place in 88 Olympia? Like 13th or something? What is the uh, Ronnie or uh, or uh, Jay Cutler ninety nine? He was fifteen out of sixteen mm. and in shape. In sh it's not like oh off, you know. So this is. I mean, uh, I'm a huge fan of of you, uh, Charles. I mean, I watch your posing routines and then that super flat stomach, like one of those. Not even slight. You know, you, even when you breathe, you, it doesn't go. Then yeah. and then. Uh, arms, oh my God, your, your yeah, arms are fucking phenomenal, right? So you hmm? remember the arm workout we had? One, hey, one, one exactly. Time. I was gonna, I was gonna mention this. So of course, uh, in the European Grand Prix tour, I don't know where we did, but I wanted to do the, you know, Charles's arm workout and let him lead, right? It's just like man, you know, he picks up the the goddamn anything, right? And it's you can you can just see one of those, like eh? one rep. Second, third, fourth, fifth, like Jesus Christ, right? It's just like blowing up. And you can see that, you know, muscle fibers are stretching and then that crazy peak. You showed me uh, incline 
uh, dumbbell uh, hammer curls. And you were doing it with, uh, you know, stop like two seconds in mid range and then just, like one of those things. So every time when I train people, I say, okay, give me the Charles Claremont's hammer yeah. curls. Oh, you named, them, you named them after Charles. There you go. Yeah, I did. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I was a huge fan. Yeah. That's why I said, you know that I love you as, as a person and uh, we did a seminar and all that stuff. We travel around. Uh, okay, so for you to understand how uh, Charles was when I discussed with him, going into the shows, he would not like even eat sweeteners, like uh, equal. He would drink water, 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 right? You remember that conversation? Mm. And, and yeah. that, that, that's why probably when the diuretic test came about, you also you probably didn't know what to do. You could have just given me a call. I could have given you like five diuretics. Oh, Lucy's the thing. <laughs> I'm I'm sorry, sorry. I didn't try to help Lucy's me. Sure. Thing. Never, right? If I, Never. If I know, I would have been, seriously, the, your phone would have been ringing, right? And I would have probably stayed longer in bodybuilding. But, you know, it's, it's what it is, man. It is what it is. It is what it is. So let's talk yeah. bodybuilding today. Can, Since, I, can I say something? The anyway. difference with bodybuilding, back then, everyone posed nicely and you couldn't see anything on Instagram. Everyone had to wait for the shows and you posed, but everyone looked forward to going to the shows. Now you see everything and you go to the shows and it's not exciting anymore. You know? Yeah. Well, so, it's, it's, I, mean, it's, I think it's still exciting, but you know, it's just bad for the uh, for the, the publications. I mean, for the magazines. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. Well, there's no more business. There's no more business yeah. for the magazines. I think it's still exciting because we, you know people get m to see more, and now the excitement is not how good this person is. He said, "How good are his pictures? How good is his Photoshop? <laughs> or whatever." You know what I mean? At the end of the day. The excitement is still there because once they step on stage, there's no filters, there's nothing. People always ask how I got here. I was willing to work just a little harder than everyone else. Every damn day. If I can have hundreds of hours back, you know I'm gonna grab them. Spending hours prepping chicken, rice, and vegetables, F that, I rely on perfect nutrition. I rely on trifecta. You know, we, yeah. will, we will see the so raw physiques and, yeah. and, and, that, that's and, and, and that's, that's the way the judges should uh, judge them. So, but let me ask you, Charles. So now, yeah. since you're back following bodybuilding, who is, at this time, I'd say in the last five to seven, ten years, who's your favorite bodybuilder? Active. Oh. That's a good question, huh? Yeah, it's a, it's that would have been tough. so much easier 20 years ago or 30 years ago. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, well, no, he's, he's saying current, current, oh, current yeah. guys. Oh, I, it's, it's hard, really, because I look at, I'm still, my head is still stuck in the 90s, mm. 80s and 90s. Look at Milos, he's, he's, he's so, blossoming so, now. He's like a flower. Look at him. Yeah. <laughs> it, it's just, it's just because now, I think you're not seeing. I don't know. I, I just can't explain it. Okay, back, don't, Charles, but, don't you don't have to explain it. Just give me one bodybuilder nowadays where you say, okay, that's 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 the my favorite physique nowadays. It don't have to be exactly what you like, but you know your favorite one, if you have one at all. Well, oh, Rami's, you know, he, yeah. So Rami, big, 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 big. But um, yeah, but you know, if you were still around, man, you would be. Right? <laughs> <laughs> you know, we we've got stuff of you here in this gym, right? That we play, and the the other gym that Abs had, you were always up there, man. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll, listen, if the Olympia would have been held in the gym after a workout, I would have been fucking uh, one of the favorites for sure. Yeah, but, I uh, know, but listen. But let's talk about the guys today. And me, we and Milos, all of us, we, we predict the top six for the last couple of weeks. You know, we changed it a couple of times. We'll probably change it again today. But uh, um, Milos, who is your favorite guy? 
Not now. You cannot name Samson because you work with him, even though if he probably would be the one. Give me one other person. Okay. Uh, Regan Grimes, but okay. then I, again, it's going to be because I work with him. But I really, I said this before, I see Regan, you know, within three years being able to, to win Olympia. Mm. He has, you know, Charles Clymont's uh, physique, uh, uh, the, the uh, you know, Chris Cormier's physique, uh, the combination, beauty, shape, oh my God, and then with structure, everything else. So he's a work in progress, as a matter of fact. Mm -hmm. But uh, if I can use my guys because of it, Andrew Jack, mm -hmm. okay? Andrew Jack is one of those like, wow. Uh, it's, uh, we are all fans, including uh, Charles, you would not believe, but uh, Dennis James, even though being like so massive, right? Uh, mm -hmm. you know, like overpowering, he actually uh, appreciates aesthetic f physics. Yeah, uh, oh, many yeah. times pick his brain. So, uh, Dennis asked you who is your favorite now, and you said Rami. And I know for sure he's not Rami as a physique. You just see him. Oh, Rami is the best. He's gonna win, but not. That's not your type of physique. I mean, now, uh, have I you? Know, I listen. Yeah. Yours, Chris flexes, right? Yeah. You know, and Ke and Kevin's in there. Okay. Kevin is good. Yeah, Kevin is good. But but uh, okay. Nowadays, shape. Okay, it Charles. Must Charles, have you seen Andrew Jack? Have you ever have you heard anything about Andrew? Yeah, uh, the Arnold. Yeah, yeah. We, yeah, yeah. Exactly so, there. so what, what do you what do you see when you see him? Uh, a little bit more weight, perhaps. So you think yeah. he needs to get a little bit bigger because he's a taller guy. He's like what? He's, what is he? Six one, six two? Uh, we'll yeah. see. Is he about six? Yeah, over six foot. Yeah. He's so, over, but yeah, so, but so, but when you look at his shape, when you're stage, it's like uh, yeah. So, but so, but when yeah. you so, but when you look at his shape, the way he poses, the way he the way he looks, doesn't that kind of remind you of like twenty years ago, maybe just a bigger version? Uh, yeah, yeah, mm. yeah. Um, but the problem being nowadays, as you said, alluded to. To posing, it's there's not that many good poses out there. I mean, mm. when I think back, you know, Chris Milos was a good poser. You know, Sean's good, Flex could pose. You know, there's a lot of good poses back in the nineties. Nowadays, the, the, you know, there's the odd one you can say, yeah, I love that, I like that, that's yeah. nice. Yeah, because I and I think the reason for that is because a lot, a lot of people put. Um, a lot of time into a routine because the routines are not being judged anymore. Yeah. So Which, they put they put more time into the training and put more time into the mandatories because they figured by the time I get to the routine, that show's over. Yeah. I like, I like the mandatories a lot because that that's that's the one part that's going to make or break you in the shows, those right? mandatories. And that's what people yeah. focus on. They focus on, on eight poses now and, and that's basically it. There's still guys... That pay attention to routines and and you can see the crowd appreciating it when they see it, exactly. You know, exactly. but you but we all know, all of us know that how hard it is to be dieting for the biggest show in the world, to to diet, to train, do your cardio, practice your mandatories, and then put some time into a routine. Not everybody's mm -hmm. up for it, you know. Unfortunately, because uh, yeah. they can diet, yeah. they, can, they can train, but Again, uh, you know, we we talk about facts and that. You're supposed to present, the, the whole sport is presenting your physique on the stage, showing the world, okay, I'm different, I'm different than you, we are special, we are muscular man, and this is federation, and they're going to judge us for, oh, this muscularity, how did we get there? So, it's not how I get there. You're not going to bench press and squat on the stage, you're not going to eat the chicken breast on the stage, you're going to pose. Mm. And then, before there was really, okay... Stand there, let's see what you got. Shape, shape, shape. That's the symmetry round. Shape, oh, beautiful. Okay, shapely guys. Yeah, you have a nice shape. Now, Federation gives us mandatory poses. We want to see you guys compared in these poses. These poses, okay. Okay, we judge that. And then third one, for the audience, for your self-expression as a bodybuilder, as an artist, as an entertainer. Now we have this routine, okay, that... Everybody in the world would appreciate it. We remember 
70s and 80s and 90s routines, right? And right now, we, for the last 20 years, you don't remember a single one. And you see, when Than, I was going to jump in as an opportunity, when he was saying, there is no more posing, right? You know, now we go there to be bored to death because you know that nobody practiced routine and they're going to just come out, do the mandatories, walk left and right, stick the tongue, sing the stomach out, drop the shoulders, pump the fucking thing. I mean, but it, it, listen, they're representing the sport. <laughs> Milos this is, is the presentation of a sport. Milos is, Milos, is, of, Milos is taking a stick and beating a dead horse. <laughs> he keep knocking. I know, on. I know. But listen again. You know, sometimes. Okay. 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 Here All right, we got it. We got it, Milos. We got it. Let's let let's. I'm sorry. Let's let's oh, let's. let's See you later, guys. Yeah. Love your Instagram. I follow you all the time. See you yeah. later, guys. Take yeah. care, my brother. Take yeah. care. Be yeah. safe. Yeah. So, bye bye. so let's let's talk about the ones that do put time into the routines. No, well, sorry, yeah. Samson. Yeah, Samson, for instance, uh, he he does. He's really really good, and for a big guy too. I mean, I, I I I like the way he presents himself. Chris, who is your favorite poser out of the whole lineup today? Yeah. Um. Mm. Well, I mean, why are you laughing, Milos? I can say, I can say, Sam, I can, I can say Samson, just <laughs> but, it, but it's like, but it's always going to be somebody that reminds me of like some shit I've saw that was great from right. before. I know, oh. that. but but who comes to mind? But also, but also I, I thought Lee Labrada had some nice stuff. Um, just because like he can, he. I thought he did a good job at hiding like his pec tear. Oh, you're talking about Hunter? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Hiding his, hide his, hide his, flaw, his flaws and like present his uh, strengths. I thought that was a. Uh, no, it's supposed to be the way. Yeah. That's, that's, the, that's why you do that routine, to huh. you know, put his strengths. Yeah. Ch Charles, so, Charles, do people come to you for, 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 for advice in England? Yeah, I mean, we. I saw you working with some people in posing. Yeah, oh, okay. No, well, sorry. I saw you working with some people in posing. Yeah, yeah, we. Hey, we I hit they <laughs> come, but, but, you know, a lot. Of, some of them have got potential. Some you really got to like work hard with them because they're too, too rigid or too. There's no flexibility there, um, so it's tough. You but know, but to to some people posing comes natural and I and this is a question that I had for Milos before I didn't get the chance to ask it because but be honest with the answer. So now because you said people because we talk about people not putting effort into posing you know, but isn't it so that for you did you really practice routines every time or did you just know you, when it come to a time where you know your poses all you have to listen to to the song and you're able to transition into new poses by yourself without practicing. Um, yeah, I mean, for me, uh, to begin with, it wasn't easy because when you get into bodybuilding, but once you're in it, you know what poses are your suits you and you, um, you know, you use them really, mm. uh, you know where to go, you know how to set your feet up for the next pose. Um, a lot of it is where people... They don't, it's in the footwork, because if you, if you want to turn a certain way, or if you're not good on your feet, you're just going to really balls the whole thing up. Hmm. Yeah, you need the uh, stability and exactly, again, if you can move the legs and people way. don't realize that you're moving, that's a smooth posing. But when you have those hiccups and you, you know, put the weight on this leg, but then, oh, you can't do the pose on that, so you have to switch to the other one. These are kind of things. But uh, uh, Dennis was uh, going uh, into a direction. Were you just natural poser? I mean, it, it was in your blood, so you don't really practice. You just, you know, hear the music on the radio and you can do the routine like yeah. this. The question was actually for you, Milos. For me? Yeah. <laughs> for me? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, listen. Okay. Uh, Chris, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, okay. I don't know. Oh man! Yeah. There was there was a time I, I don't know if you were there uh, or not, but uh, Sean and, and Max, we would play whatever is on the fucking uh, uh, station and now pose with that. Right. Okay, so I could because uh, 
uh, as uh, uh, Charles said, he knows his best poses. Mm -hmm. And there are certain things with arm, arms up, you know, so, and then arms down on one side, on the other side. So you have a sequence of the poses. You know what comes natural. If you're going to go to the side, you can do either this one or you're going to do this one or whatever you're going to do. So that's going to be side. And then you're going to, with the rhythm, going to turn, have no wasted moves. So like you go oh, and then you change your mind and then you go down and then you go up and down. That's what some of the guys do. They, they change the level you know, for one pose. Don't change for one pose. If you're down, do two, three poses. Stay down, yeah, yeah. Back to these kind of things. But uh, we did, uh, I would, uh, I'm, I'm sure you're driving the car back in the day and you hear the music, oh, I can pose with this all day long, right? And that's how usually you pick your music, you know, because you know exactly when you hear the beat, oh, now I'm the most muscular, right? I'm going to do the ab shot. Uh, uh, you know, Charles is going to do that open arm, you know, shit. Chris Cormier is going to do his, you know, uh, like uh, Lila Brada, Barry DeMay back fucking pose, right? Uh, I mean, they all have a signature poses, but yeah. it, it has to be connected and flow. I mean, I know that I'm pain in the ass. You don't want to guys listen to me. We, we can't <laughs> like, uh, who, said that? who said you know, that? Who said that? Who said that? Because love we all people. know that uh, we can't change it back. We mm -hmm. can't change it back. Hey, when you do something in your life and you do it, you change it, you know, and make it worse, not better. What should you do? You should step back and realize, well, you know what? The way I was doing was better. You know, let me change it back. Uh, posing routine taken out, you know, kills the audience. Audience goes there to be bored to death. Nobody remembers uh, Lila Brada's routine, Charles Clymont's routine, you know, Chris Cormier's, uh, Lila Brada, you know, Bob Paris. I mean, we all remember those routines. That was 30 years ago. Right now, you can visualize them. There's such a strong impact. Beauty of bodybuilding. That was in the posing. Mm -hmm. Last 10 years, last 10 years, it's painful. I'm, I, I'm sorry. Even if it's my guy, it's painful for me to listen, to, to watch. Mm -hmm. You know, same thing when I ask Regan, hey, first time, Regan, you have a posing routine? Uh, no. I say, what? No. I say, <laughs> well, you're a Spartan. What's your profession? To fight there? Oh, no, to pose. You're going on a stage, you're alone on a stage, you're posing, representing yourself, federation, sport, everything, and uh, you're going to improvise. So they all improvise and Audience is not stupid, but you can hit like three mandatories and then blank face. Uh, okay, I, I don't know what next. And I'm going to walk there. In the meantime, I'm going to pick which pose. I'm going to probably hit the same pose. I mean, it's ridiculous. Mm. So my message to that, you know, brilliant Bob Chikrilo says, oh, give the prize money for posing. Give a $10,000. $10,000 is given to the winner of the fucking contest for the last 30 years. That's the 10,000 to win. Oh, you want to give them 10,000 to win the posing round too? Equal, equal value? Are you fucking out of your mind? Why don't you just make them, okay, they're going to fight for a higher placing, be judged in the posing round, and put this 10,000 as a prize money, as a total prize money, and judge the posing round. That's how you're going to get somewhere. Ooh, sir. Yeah. I'm just excited. I'm I know. I, Milos, I know exactly how you are, and that's why. I, that's, that's why. That's why we have you on here every time. But let me ask you this, and this is a question for all you guys. I'm gonna ask every single one of y'all. If they would make a statue of you in your home city, hometown, home country, and they would ask you to give them your favorite pose, what pose would it be, Milos? Oh, okay. <laughs> Okay. Okay, that explains it all. What would be Charles Clemont's favorite pose for a statue? Uh, if you have to choose one. Uh, 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 um, oh man. What, what would you call that pose? Either either open oh, well, if, you, if you can't call it, just do it. Yeah. yeah. Just do it. Just do it. What, that, this, that. Oh, okay. That's your favorite pose. It's the never shot of that that everyone seems to like. Yeah. Right. My favorite, um, Charles. My favorite pose of you is the double biceps where you look up. Yeah. Yeah. That's my favorite. Little, this way. This way. A little bit. 
Uh, that, 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 that was a twisted, a twisted uh, front shot, right? Huh? No, no, no. Twisted, right? No, 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 no. From the front. Uh -huh. And he looks up. Uh -huh. Shit. Chris, you don't, Chris, you don't know your history? I just would have twisted that one. Yeah. I would have went like... He did the twister shots, too. He did all of them. Yeah. Chris, what would be your shot? Hold okay. on. You can, you can only choose one. Either... Uh, no, no, no. There's no either. Uh, Front last spread. I would, I would do the last spread. Front last spread on the toes? Yeah. yeah. The toes. And the Murray. Oh, <laughs> I, I, I swear, Abs just said that. Front yeah. lat spread on your toes. Yeah, front lat spread on your toes. Yeah. Is that the yeah. one? <laughs> yeah, yeah, there that's the one he chose. He stole it from Landon Murray. Did he? <laughs> you, you think he did? <laughs> I had a lot of women. I, I had think, a lot of women's. I think I had before, a lot of women's poses in my, my routine. I think before Linda, I think Corey Everson did that pose too. Matter right. of fact, all the girls yeah. did him. They all went on their toes because they didn't try to I like, trying to I like, show. I can, I can linger too, man. I should steal a lot of her shit. Mm. Yeah, yeah you know, uh, Charles was doing a lunging, and I'm sure you remember those poses. Lunging, one open, one uh, yes. you know, like oh, yeah, it's kind yeah, of yeah. and uh, both arms open and all this shit. Oh, and it was like, yeah. yeah. Hey, but, hey, Charles, do you, do you have any stories from the tour? Did you have any any rivalries? Did you have a rival guy that you was like, man, I'm gonna, I need to beat the shit out of this guy? Did you have any of that going on? What rivalry with um with another competitor be beating guys and that yeah um well um well you you I think you diet down train hard and supplement smart for months when the time comes to step on stage don't leave your tan to chance go with the pros pro tan number one worldwide since 1987 and the official sponsor of the olympia for the last 15 years don't step on stage without it pro 10. man but, you guys are crazy wanna, this, guy. this, is, this is fun but i want to say something that was horrible that happened oh. and you were there uh charles right 92 uh holland when benaziza died oh yeah yeah man you were there because uh i don't i don't remember now you know, when I visualized who was who, we were going uh, with the two different cars back to hotel from uh, Den Haag to Middle Harness, right? And I wasn't in the car with uh, Benaziza. But uh, just to rewind a little bit, did you see many pictures from that show ever anywhere? I mean, Benaziza in that show look out of this world. Did you guys see? I mean, no, uh, what show was it? 92, 92 uh, Holland, but uh, yeah, you, you no, can no. Google it. You're not, you're not gonna find it. I don't think so, because uh, I mean Ben Aziza looked like a, you know per square inch most dense, yeah. leanest, driest uh, you know muscle. It was crazy. You find it? <clears throat> this is a video. This is a video. Yeah. I don't know. It was 92? 90, Oh, no, that's Arnold Classic. Yeah, yeah listen, that, that's going to check your YouTube and uh, whatever. You're going to put 92, this and that, and they're going to show you 96, you know, from other parts of the country. So, I, you know, bottom line is this. Benaziza was looking phenomenal, but he couldn't even finish posing. He couldn't even be in a top six comparison. He was backstage. You remember that or no? Yeah. Uh, yeah. So yeah. when they announced him a winner, Thierry Pastel and Porter Cochelle drag him on the shoulders to receive that uh, trophy, right? He could not make a step, right? But uh, were you in the room when uh, Thierry Pastel came to the restaurant, called us, uh, you know, Benazir is not feeling good, and we all ran to his room? Were you there? No, I, I wasn't actually there then, but I was at the at, at that competition. But uh, that competition. I only heard that there was problems. Keep with, keep with the but yeah, yeah, there was a, a friend of, of Abs and mine we, who we was looking after it. it. <laughs> yeah, he was actually planning with him the with a towel um, because he came over. The guy came over to see me compete. Uh -huh. 
Uh-huh. And he got involved with with uh, what was going on there. Yeah, thinking low. Yeah. Yeah. He was. Uh, um, so, so somebody was there with a towel. I mean, uh, uh, I can't remember uh, Benazir sitting uh, in the in the chair and had a, a feet in the water, and uh, white as a ghost already. And it was just moment when we all rush in, right? Two seconds later, he stiffened up, like completely stiff and just rolled, right? It was like, uh, like a, you know, really no flexibility anywhere. And that's when uh, actually Porter Kuchel pushed all of us because he's a uh, paramedic, right? You know, open the windows, you get out, you know. Shit why? Was, why get out? Why? If, why not just help air, him? For air, right? Oh. And uh, you know, so. We'll open windows right away, and uh, he started uh, CPR right away, right? But he, you know, commanded us to leave. I mean, what are we going to do? I mean, uh, one person can do CPR at a time. And, uh, shit. But I know that we all panicked and, and came out and uh, waiting, waiting. And, you know, by the time paramedics came, uh, they say he died on the way there. I heard that he probably already did in the room. Mm. Now, I, I thought that you were there. I can recollect seeing the face you know when you're in commotion and then you see something yeah i was at the the, uh, i was competing there but i didn't i can't i i wasn't actually in the thick of it um and i just heard what had happened and it it really when you hear that it just pulls something out which is just the and then even like with uh uh menzer uh, munzer i mean he, uh, oh yeah, other. That was another where he was on tour one year, and then the next year, you know, being not being there. But like I was telling people before, like that's some of the reason why I was never really trying to be, get. I'm gonna get as hard as possible. I'm gonna just, I'm gonna do this as hard. As, I was just like, no, man, I don't, I don't think that's the way for me. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna not try to get that damn hard. That was yeah, well, that, that, that's a wise move. I tell all the guys now that uh, you know I know. That come to see see us for whatever reason. I always say, listen, <clears throat> you know, along the way, you're gonna you're gonna step into the fire, but don't spend too long in there because you're gonna get seriously burned. Yeah. So always think of your life after bodybuilding. Um, so is, is this why you retired? Ninety seven. Is this sorry? why? No, no, he retired because he said he don't want to put up with it no more. Yeah, yeah, well, this is it. I, I mean, the way things were going, um, mm. you know, so I, I just, I, and I had injuries as well. So I, I was just like, hey, this is, this is, yeah. everything's changing. It's not for the good. I just felt like, you know, I was just swimming against the, the tide, man. Hey, so, so you, you know, you know how we had, you know, we had, we didn't have the social media thing, but did you, like when you were in Nava, like did you understand, know who was doing what in the IVB, or did you, uh, or you uh, like, it, like, did you know about some of the guys in the IVB when you were in the Nava? When I was with Nava, yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, people used to say to me, "Why don't you go to the IFBB? I said, "Well, firstly, you know, I didn't set out to to you know compete there because." The universe was the thing I was after at that time, and so, and then obviously I, I, I because I've seen guys go from NABA to the IFBB and the sort of politics within, you know, between the two organisations, <laughs> pretty heavy. So I just said, look, you know, if I went over there. <clears throat> I'm just going to make up the numbers, man. I'm, I'm not going to. I'm not going to make any inroads there. So <clears throat> it's only, as I said, because Wayne got into. I didn't get in touch with the with with, with the IFBB. Wayne Demilia called me mm. and, um, and and asked if I was interested in doing it, and that's the only reason I got involved with it. Because had he not called, I would never have competed in the IFBB. Mm. So. Well, yeah, I mean, going back to your question, yeah, I, I, I knew, I was watching the guys that were there, and um, <clears throat> it was like, yeah, I mean, it was... So, yeah, I, I can compete with them. Yeah. Sorry? 
you, you felt like, okay, I can compete with them, you know? Uh, I didn't even, to be, to be honest with you, I didn't even think about even, like, you know, going up How against you, How you would stack up? That, that was there. That was the IFBB. I was with NABA, and that, that was my headspace at the time. Mm -hmm. I was trying to see. So how, how long did you compete for NABA? How long did I compete with them? Yeah. Oh, man. Uh, As a pro. Oh, uh, I did the three the three pro universes. So, so you did three, because so that's, that's all they have. For, that's all they had as a pro. It's, a, it's just a pro universe every year, right? Yeah, that, that was it. You had, yeah. It's predominantly amateur anyway. So right, you know, right, right, right. You had the small professional uh, side of it, which was the professional universe yeah. and, and, and Mr. World. Yeah, winning, so, winning the I, pro I, amateur, I, winning the pro universe three years there's nothing else for you to do, you know? What else? You need a challenge. Well, this is it. So I just thought, look, I only wanted one to win one universe anyway. Mm. Yeah. So, you hey. know, you, you did it. And that, once I'd done that, then obviously I'd done the, uh, the other let's, let, three. All right, let's, ones, let's and, fast. And, it. and it was I'm time sorry. for me. It's a little delayed. <clears throat> Let's fast forward. Sorry? Let's fast forward. Olympia 2022. Charles, we have you on here. I can't let you go without putting you on the spot and getting the top six from you. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I, I'm, before, before we get to that... I'm going to take a pass on that one because... No, I'm not. <laughs> Everybody... Hey, that's everyone. Everyone says that. First, now, first thing, now let's no, let's no, play no. let's play a different game here because I got the lineup here. I'm gonna throw a name out, and I want to see if everybody know who it is. That's where we at this year, okay? So now, first name, Leandro Perez. Milos, I don't know, but I assume it's Brazilian. <laughs> Chris, Chris. <laughs> This is where we are now. We are in Olympia where we don't even know some of the guys. Yeah, is this Brazilian? Yeah, he is Brazilian. And we consider us experts and we don't even know who's competing. I know, well, I know. I mean, well, you t people talk about a certain. Group All right, of hold people. on. I'm not done. Hold on, Chris. I got another <laughs> one. Yeah. I got another one. We're getting beaten up here, guys. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, man. Uh, Theo Le Guerrier. <laughs> I don't even know if I said Le Guerrier. But that's Theo. That's uh, you like his physique. That's French guy, uh, Mauro's guy. Theo. I'm, I'm, Le, I'm yeah. just asking. So you know Chris? Yeah. You know. Yeah. <laughs> Chris. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do. I do. I do. Okay. Hold on. I got some more for you. Hollywood Francais. <laughs> now I'm, I'm I'm just picking the names that we haven't heard or we never talked about. Mohammed Anzur. Yeah, he he works with Chris Asita. He won Korea. Yeah. Supposedly a doctor. Crazy conditioning, beautiful physique. Chris, what do you know about Mohammed Anzur? Um, That's what I thought. I just. <laughs> I don't know much about it. Like, I see Chris Post, guys. You know, you're like, running there, bro. I'm you on this one. Yeah, so listen. Um, Believe it to me, though. See, here, uh, I got another one. Vitor Boff. Yeah, Brazilian. He he was second to uh, uh, Rafa, and then he won uh, after that. You know, in uh, Brazil, Iron Classic. Yeah. So what show did he win? Uh, show after. There was uh, three shows in Brazil this year, right? Uh-huh. So he, he won the second one. I don't know by dates. I mean, I'm so screwed up with the dates. But uh, he was second close to uh, Rafa. And then he managed to to win the very next one. How hard is it for guys like these, I mean, to come into to, to their first Olympia with such a huge lineup? Hard. Yeah. It's fucking I mean, super uh, hard. Super hard to even get talked about. It's so fucking strange. Yeah. You know? If that would have been 15 guys, we could talk about every single one of them. But we yeah. literally we literally at a point where there's thirty six. How many? How many? How many is in the show? Thirty six qualified and thirty two are gonna 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 compete. Because you know we obviously don't have Nathan Deash is not doing it. Uh, we that's had a few. Like a, Samson, like I mean Reagan Grimes is not doing it. 
So it's like a night of champions. Thirty-two, back in the day. Yeah, almost, almost, almost. Almost like a night of champions. Night of champions were like fifty in the fifties. Yeah, but how hard is it for somebody who's coming there for the first time? I, I, I see it this way, because if we go back 20 years, 25 years or in y'all's time, when you go to the Olympia, if you go to the meet the Olympians, every person that comes there knows every single one of the guys. Yeah. Now, this year, if you go to meet the Olympians, I guarantee you there's 80 percent or maybe even more that don't know some of these guys. They will literally... And, and, and I feel for them. They will literally sit there at their table but do you, hey, but do you, and, and, and do like I did my first Arnold. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> I, kept, I, I kept shaking, listen, I kept shaking like my that. pen so the color wouldn't dry out. <laughs> hey, but Dennis, but, it, Dennis, but it, to be fair, to be yeah. fair, Dennis, is like that, though. Yeah, I know. Like that. Until you do something significant, or legendary or whatever, you're not gonna, they're not gonna know who you are. Because oh. when I did my first, <laughs> uh, I was the USA champion, overall champion, only yeah. one went pro. And it still took a while for me to get a few claps at the Arnold. Like no one really hmm. gave a shit. You but, know? but winning the USA is different in America. People know who you are back then, especially. Well, you win the know, USA, I, everybody I, I, knows. Like I got it. One clap, two claps. Oh yeah, it's him. And I then, know, but Chris, it's different. It's different if you win the USA. Everybody knows the USA champ back then, because there was only one pro card, as she said. So yeah. even in the Flex magazine, the whole world will know the USA champion every year. But, but I was there's saying, literally like, there's well, literally I, guys that people they're gonna buy tickets to the Olympia and to, to what they go to the um, to the meet the Olympians and they have no clue who they are. Right. You know. Yeah. So that's. So how do you think the pre-judging is going to go? If, I don't uh, know. I don't know. They, they can't do one by one because if you give them one minute, they yes, they do. You. They're going to do one by one. Really? Yes. I, 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 I know think. how I know that is simply because I get the emails from Rami and they uh, already said they have one minute each. Oh, really? Yeah. Classic and um, two twelve. I think it's only forty-five seconds. Yeah, but uh, it doesn't. It doesn't say. One each, but alone or no, with somebody on the stage. I no, no, no. They, they, they literally in the email, they put alone. down the posing routine, how long you have for the mandatory poses. So you see here, here is a, another brilliance from uh, Bob Chikorilo when he's saying, hey, the only thing that matters is judging. This is all filling out the time. You should never be alone in the stage because when you're alone on the stage, you can't be compared. You can't be judged like what's the waste of time, right? So it's okay. On that logic, you know, why don't we uh, <laughs> skip that and then just have everything compared right away, you know? <laughs> why don't we just send the camera into the dressing room where they all sit together? Yeah, but uh, so uh, you say somebody that uh, was never really competing, or Chris said, he has to be legendary before people are going to accept him. I, I think that Michael Creaso never stepped on the stage here in the United States, but yeah. he's going to be sitting there, and there's going to be a lot of people. But he was doing shit. Together. But he was always poking at the the athletes over here already. So that 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 was something. He was doing something. You mean it's the same? Like that? No, it's the same with uh, it's the same with uh, Andrew. I mean, he he came out to the U.S. He competed. He turned pro this year. Competed and qualified this year, and 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 is going to do the Olympia. And Michael and then, Michael Creaso was hyped. You know, from everywhere. Uh, you know. And we had the power of social media where everybody yeah. could talk. That's the difference about social media. And some of these guys, and some of these guys are maybe not that powerful when it comes to social media. So yeah, I, 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 I uh, yeah, I mean, listen, I, I don't even know how we're going to manage to talk about all these guys, but there's so many on this list that um, takes us back. Yeah, Who Olympia. changed? Who's changed? Oh, by the way. Hold on, I got something for you guys. What's that? Oh, yeah, I got something. You got Big Rami on the thing? Oh, uh, yeah. Hold on, just choose one. <laughs> it's, uh, who is it? Huh? Who is it? Ooh. Yeah. Let me see. Yeah, um. I, why am I only? What? Yeah, Chris, I'm slow. Chris, you slow? 
Huh? I went to Milos. Huh? Only saw it for a split second, then it went to Milos. Thanks, uh, thanks, Nico. Do I have to talk? Do I have to talk? Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. So he's so that's him flat right now, huh? That's him flat. Yes. Yeah. How the how the other sides? It looks. It looks. It, huh? Good? Other side in the in the back. He's he's. I I'm, this is the best he's been. Yeah. Yeah. I know you've seen a lot. Yeah. Who that? <laughs> Samson. Who that? Oh, Samson. <laughs> yeah. You wear glasses? No, but he he's doing. Uh, what's he's going on? What's going? He's having a funny thing, you know. What's going? Uh, <laughs> what, hey, what's happening with some people talking about Samson is behind? <laughs> yeah, I don't know what, you know. So yeah, talk to us. Mean, talk to us. I mean, uh, you know, if this is behind. So Samson. As you guys know, it doesn't have the thin skin, right? But w when you go uh, to the people and, and grab, and there's nothing there, right? Mm -hmm. uh, some don't have that fibrotic, striated, separated, you know? You know uh, so somebody like myself or, or Chris, we can look leaner than we are because of separation, right? And some guys could be like, oh, they bone dry, but shit is really not happening. Uh, Samson has a little bit thicker skin, right? But separation is there, and I see that it's uh, very, very little fat. So mm -hmm. I don't see him being behind. Actually, three weeks out now, he's better than three weeks out ever and uh, much I bigger. I don't think he's behind. And I, I do see a lot of separation on his body, even mm -hmm. with, like a big body. He's still... I don't know still, I don't know where he came from. Somewhere they, somewhere mentioned that, uh, uh, you know, it looks like he's behind. But this is just... Hey, it's not me talking. That's just, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. why I just threw these out just to have something to talk about. So, I think that uh, uh, you did, uh, uh, Chris, you, you, did some, you did some posing with uh, with Samson, right? Yeah, I did. Yeah, that's why. I, I mean, you, you saw him pose, so so there you go. Yeah, yeah, he wasn't he wasn't behind. Oh, good, good, good. So everything is everything's on track. Yeah. yeah. All right. So yeah. that brings I us. Wish, hey, I was, I was, I see, uh, hey, Milos. 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 Uh, Milos. Huh. Tell him I wish we can do more because he's been. I know he sweated pretty hard that time, but you should hit him up and say we need to do. Uh, more. We're supposed to actually. He told me to line up you, me, and him. Uh, there was a Sunday night, Monday morning. No, I get Monday, Monday, Monday I get morning here, Monday. Sunday night. I get there Monday because I, I I'm watching all the soccer games at two o'clock in the morning, of course. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I'm up anyway. But I told him that no way, Chris is going to be up. So, so yeah. since Charles yeah. is not, since Charles doesn't want to give us his top six, Charles, Charles, come on, come on, top six. Yeah, ah, man, I, I, you can guess. Is, no one's got. No, I'm not. Let, let's put it like this: I'm not as on board as you guys. You're working with most of those guys. <laughs> so, okay, me, all right. I'm so, just, I'm just fresh back in, right? So. All right, Chris, did anything change for you? No, I'll stay with the same one. Same thing? See. Nothing's changed? Milos, anything's changed for you? <laughs> yeah, you want, you want to say it, but you can't say, say it. <laughs> I, I mean, this is... We should use that face he just made for... As what, a about with, what about with uh, Milos? Because Milos, you was putting some people out of the top six that you had. Yeah, I, I put Nick Walker out of the top six. And people would just take this like, how could you possibly? I mean, he's going to be freaking ripped and big and all this stuff. I know that. I mean, I see him fucking. So you still I, you still have him out of the top six? Well, I said, no. If you remember, I said, he's either second to Rami or out of top six. Yeah, but that's not, that's <laughs> not top six. <laughs> top six but, means one, two, three, four, five, six. You can't give him two places. Yeah, but uh, either I could see it. <laughs> okay, it's like it's like me saying Rami's either going to win or get ninth. Rami, Rami is winning, you know, with uh, his t-shirt on. He doesn't even <laughs> take it on. Oh. I, I think that's how it is, right? A uh, quick remind, yeah. quick reminder for you, Milos. Rami, Hadi, uh, uh, Hadi, Bonak, uh, Samson, uh, Derek, and Brandon. That was my last one. Right? That was last week, yeah. Yeah. Now 
I, I have been talking shit uh, about uh, Brandon's legs, and I'm hoping that he's, uh, you know, training them, and then he improved them, and he comes in a crazy condition. So I can see now Brandon moving uh, to the third place. So Rami, Hadi, uh, Brandon. Um, wait, 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 wait. I got I to gotta write this down because uh, yours already has so many changes. How the stocks, when, when they, they change the... Now yeah. I, I see uh, Brandon gaining momentum. Because for me, last year, if there was the shape contest, uh, Brandon would win. If there was condition contest, Hadi would win. Mm -hmm. And just size, it was Rami. But now uh, I have a feeling, that's why I'm putting Nick out of top six. I have a feeling that IBB wants to shape. I, I really do. Are you still I, going with Samson in fourth? So uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do uh, William fourth, Samson fifth. Oh, wait a minute. I know. I know Samson is a uh, okay. uh, nice guy, so of course. Samson, uh, I, I Samson six, in, uh, So sixth Ryan, place. Uh, uh, Derek. Derek, I think. Uh, yeah. Even though I'm, I'm thinking what, what Derek and uh, they all, People also say, I mean, not people, I talk about a few things where people think, is Derek behind? Uh, according to the photos, Three weeks out, no, that's that's pretty well. You mm -hmm. know how he guest posed like uh, before whatever Olympia, he was like two forty five, and he needed to make two twelve, and, and he made it. Uh, I don't know, but uh, okay, uh, Derek and Andrew Jack. Andrew Jack is in Vegas. I think he trains with uh, Flex Lewis. I hope Flex is gonna be pushing him big time. So I see. Andrew. Oh, what's going on with uh, Flex though? I thought he was in the mix with him. Yeah, f yeah, I. I Flex, yeah. Flex and George are his coaches. What, wait, uh, wait a minute. You have two coaches doing what? One is who? telling you what to eat and protein, and the other one gives them the carbs? I don't know. <laughs> I mean, from, from, what jo from, me, from what George is telling me, George is doing, is doing all that. All that? I mean, but Flex introduced uh, he's, to he's, mo he's like a mentor, I think. He's mentoring. Okay. So there you go. Uh, Flex, so he's not training him? Flex is not training him anymore now? I, I, I didn't see it. No, I see uh, okay. Flex uh, Lewis. I, I don't know. You're talking to Flex Wheeler? Is he okay? I haven't I haven't heard from him in yeah. forever, to be honest. I think it would be hard for him to train him, right? And uh, and that's why they went with I the, see him put training videos up on his Instagram with other people. Oh, really? Yeah, I did too. Yeah. Unless they're old. I don't know. Maybe. You know, you know so so Andrew Jack, you know, for me, who he can be that dark horse, and then he can move and be compared with uh, Brandon. He can be compete with Samson. You know, oof. Uh, I just think that uh, Hardy and uh, uh, William, they are sure in to be there, like first car, and then where do you gonna go? But I really go with the poses, pose by pose. I I said this many times, William, because of his narrowness. Is gonna lose front relax, front flat spread, back flat spread. So and uh, ab shot. That's like you were counting Ra Ronnie Rami comparisons. And you say four and four. So I see uh, Boniak clearly losing those four uh, poses to many guys, and that's why I don't see him as uh, high as I thought he can be second mm. on a sheer mass and and. Uh, Thickness and muscularity and uh, hardness. That's how I saw William all the way there. But then, oof, uh, in pose by pose, uh, Hardy is fucking phenomenal, right? He doesn't have a bad pose and he has everything, combination of everything. Uh, Brandon is beauty. And if beauty comes a little bit, you know, loaded up on the legs and in a crazy condition, then... Uh, He's going to fight with, with Rami. I mean, they went, you know, mano a mano, like two years in a row. They were, you know, so it might be a three that they're going to be last two men standing. Okay. So, but now I'm going to repeat again. Rami, Hardy, Brandon, Hardy. Bonek, Samson, Derek. Yeah. Chris, <laughs> uh, Chris, you, you stay the same? Yeah. Okay. I change every week. Me too. But uh, yeah, but uh, I know that was going to happen because, you know, we see what things that happen. Yeah. But did you, do you analyze pose by pose? No, 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 no. Yeah, because they, this is really. If we start, if we would do that, then we would have probably three or four other people in the fucking top six. Yeah, no. I mean, it's going to happen. 
Just uh, a lot of people are pissed off that I'm not uh, mentioning Hunter Labrada. Like, whoa, oh, Hunter can move in big time, of yes, course. Yes. Big, big time. The only reason why I don't have Hunter, but the only reason why I don't have Hunter in, in, in this lineup is simply because he hasn't shown me the condition that I think he needs in order to break it. That's the only reason why I keep him out yeah. too. And uh, so if so he comes to condition this time, really super shredded, I will never count him out again. He but he's never been out of that out of the mix. So far, well, what do you mean? Well, he only he only placed uh, f f a fourth last year. So they said, like, whenever he compete, he they he. he I play. understand that, but now l looking at these other guys, I think he needs to. You know what? To be perfectly honest, and I said this before, I think Nick beat him last year at the Olympia. <laughs> yeah, I had Nick ahead of Hunter because we judge condition also. So does he have beautiful lines? Yes. But now he, we, we, we already beat that horse to death also. So at the well, end of the day, at the end of the day, doesn't. I'm going off of conditioning now, mostly. Because, yeah, somebody has a better structure. It's ha happened. It doesn't necessarily mean you're going to win. Okay? We all agree to that, right? Yeah. yeah. You see, I'm thinking this, that condition has to be that factor that if you're not in condition, you should not be placing high. <laughs> you know, you're penalized. Yes, we know your shape. Yes, we know your symmetry and balance and da-da-da-da-da-da-da. Right. You're supposed to be conditioned, lean and dry on the stage. You're not so sorry like what they did to uh, Dennis Wolf 2008, nine, whatever, when they put him out of top 15. Because he, he was not in condition. Yeah, I mean, that's still Dennis Wolf's physique and all that stuff. They wanted to make examples, spank him, come back when you're ready to compete. So I, I really think that conditioning should be that, uh, okay, which physique? Well, the better conditioned physique should. Uh, uh, that's why I agree. Yeah. I love Hunter's physique better than Nick's, but Nick beat him in the uh, aspect of uh, bodybuilding last last week. But, last uh, but we uh, uh, listen. Oh, by the way, this is this. No, we're not going to be able to get on the podcast next week, so this should be our final official. Oh no! Yeah, until yeah. the Olympia, because the studio is packing up to go into Vegas. So there's no there's no studio. I can I can go to Vegas and I can be a host and call you guys. Because <laughs> <Let me go. laughs> yeah, I'm yeah. in Vegas. But they're setting up for the Olympia. They're, they're not setting up for a podcast. Yes. Right. I will give you top six for the Olympia. All right. I'm going uh, to put you... On your behalf. I'm going to put your top six <laughs> under Charles's... I'm going to put, put his top six under your name, Charles. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. So, so Charles will lose the followers on Instagram if something goes bad. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's obviously. Right. But we don't have to grab me. Yeah. can... Yeah, can come close. All as right, well. so you got Rami in first. Second place. Sorry, Milos. Yeah. <laughs> Who's second? Top top six. Top six. I think we've got uh, Rami, uh, Curry. So Brandon in second. Brandon, uh, Brandon second. If he comes tight. Okay. Then uh, Walker. Nick. 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 Um, Andrew might squeeze in if he's. No, no, I don't. I don't, I don't need no might. I need Charles's real top six. <laughs> <laughs> no, help him, help him, Charles. Uh, I'm going with him. <laughs> okay, all right, keep. All right, so who do you want in fourth? Who does he want in fourth? When we go to to shows, we normally pick out the top three, and he's always bang on the mark. Okay, all right. On the mark. Yeah, this one was was was, yeah. was, 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 was there. All right, so top fourth, fourth. Who's fourth? What could be? It's... Yeah, what? I don't know. It's, it's... Come on. No one, no, no one stands out. Come on, Chris. Yeah. They don't have to stand out. They just have to place fourth. Who do you think? Help, help him, Dennis. Help him with some names. Okay, so um, shit. I'm gonna throw some names at you. Bonac. Samson oh, yeah, Dowder. Yeah, 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 yeah. Bonac, third, third, third place, Bonac. Bonac, definitely. Oh, so not Nick. I, I forgot, but yeah, yeah. I, I, met, I met Bonac the other day. So yeah, you yeah. had, so not. Yeah, third, so, third place, yeah. So, third. So scratch Nick. Scratch Nick, yeah, he definitely beat Nick. All right, Bonac. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so who's fourth? Nick in fourth then? Nick, Nick fourth, yeah. Okay. 
All right, then we have, uh, we still have Hadi Chupan. We still Abo. have. Huh? And uh, I've got, I've got Hadi next, and then uh, Samson after that. So Hadi in fifth. Samson, Hadi in fifth. Samson after that. Samson in, in, in sixth. Okay. Yeah, that's, I think that's a, uh, but if, if Samson comes out, he can talk, squeeze in top three yeah. easily. All right. So, hey. <laughs> Hey. So, here you go. See, now here's the thing. When I meet any of them, then I'm not guilty. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry. They, they don't take it personal. I hope not. No, no. no. What is this no, no. here? What is this here, um, Nico? That's my pick. Oh, Nico's pick is Rami, Hadi, Bonak, Derek, Brandon, and Nick. Yeah, I want oh, to, Derek. You have to put your name on it. So we know it's yeah, coming from you. See, All right, guys. Hey, that brings me to the end. Charles, hey, man. I appreciate it, it, my man. Thank you, for, you for making, thank you for making the time, man. It was a pleasure finally getting to meet you, even though it's over Zoom. So hopefully one day we can run into each other so I can shake your hand as a fan. Yeah, well, listen, we have guys come here. If you're ever in the country. Where are you in England? Where? Yeah, yeah. Milos comes all the time. Yeah, yeah. Milos yeah. has been here. He's been to the old region. What, yeah. what part of England? Where? No, no, not part of London. Uh, yeah, it's in England. It's in Auburn, yeah. London, okay. So when are you going yeah. next, Milos? I don't know. I mean, the last time I went there, I did a seminar with the... Milos, where are you next? Where, where is it? Have gym. But, but listen, I mean... Uh, uh, really? One more thing that I want to say it is... Uh, uh, I made a video about uh, most underrated bodybuilder of all I saw time. That, I saw that. And I and I put uh, uh you know uh, Charles. I really think that uh now that uh you know he's uh, gonna go away before he goes, I don't want to say this because he was not you in US it's not a household name and competing here and being seen all the time. He was like Dorian over there in England and then he comes shows up but that uh 92 a uh, year that you competed after the six week preparation and you didn't prove yourself, of course, it meant nothing. 93 was a phenomenal year. I don't know how many shows you won. And uh, Dennis James uh, noticed you at Olympia and he thinks that you should place higher. Yes, I was driving and he was texting like, oh, yeah, I, I think so too. I think you placed like seventh or something like that. Uh, it's first Olympia, it's still good. But uh, I wish you didn't back off 97. Just because you placed like 12th in this uh, Olympia, because uh, like I said, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, they're all good. If you just put another year, uh, I think you would make a huge impact because it, it had a combination of everything. A little bit yeah. cream. Awesome. Awesome. So, Milos, next time you go to London, let me know. I'm coming with you. Charles, one more time. Thank you, man. I really appreciate you. Milos, Chris, I don't have to say nothing to you guys. You know. Hey. You know? hey uh, uh -huh. <laughs> what? <laughs> hey, Charles. Oh. What's, what's, what's your nationality? I always thought you was half black and shit. What, what's your nationality? <laughs> oh, oh, I'm, um, I'm Russian. <laughs> 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 I thought I, you know what I never read up on this but I always thought he was kind of like Caribbean or somewhere Aborigine but Aboriginals but but like yeah well, well my family's had all their ancestry stuff done and that so listen yeah I was born there but I'm like, born where? I'm 57 man where? I'm, uh, I was in Bar I was born in Barbados oh so I was right Yes. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Caribbean look. Uh, I'm yeah. 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 Okay. And, uh, that, he had he always had that permanent Jerry curl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, okay. <laughs> See, I had to get I had to do all the the the, the, Not the anymore, man. I had to do Not the anymore. activator and the moisturizer. I had to do all that shit. <laughs> Charles, you're, 60, you're sixty years old or you're close to sixty, right? How old are you? Sixty, right? How old are you, Charles? Oh, you saw it to me. Yeah, 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 I'm that, but I'm 21, but I'm 60. Damn. <laughs> See that? Hey, 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 that hey, Barbados that blood. So, you yeah. know, if you're from Barbados, you might as well black. It's the same thing. Yeah. yeah. I, I saw some kids look like him in Russia when I went back. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, thank you guys.
I appreciate you all. I'll talk to you all. Take care. God bless. Be safe. Take care. Thank you, guys.